everybody, Ricky and I'm handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on a Friday afternoon, March the 30th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct Race Course, Ozone Park, New York. First for race three on the card, 121 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a six furlong sprint on the dirt track. Three year old fillies race for starter allowance, claiming prize of some $51,000. Contenders number three, TJ Stormy Witt. Number four, McCarran Park. Number one, Blushing Martha. And number five, Get Her Up. Number three, TJ Stormy Witt. Qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony is both the overall speed and pace profile later in this optional claiming field. Nice early speed abilities to complement for this sprint. She's hit the board in both of her two career starts to date, including a power run win to break her maiden in her last start. Number four, McCarran Park has turned in a quartet of power run performances in her last five outings, hitting the board in three, including back-to-back -back power run wins in her third and fourth races back. Race 3 summary, number 3, TJ Stormy Witt tops the contenders list today, which also includes number 4, McCarran Park, number 1, Blushing Martha, and number 5, Get Her Up, 3415, and the third from Aqueduct. Pimlico, Baltimore, Maryland, opening now. Race 8 for 26 p.m. Eastern Post time. It's an 8.5 roll on route test on the dirt track. Three-year-olds and up race for an optional claiming prize of some $37,000. Contenders number two, Jake's Band-Aid, number three, Houston Bull, number one, Granite Ruler, and number seven, Bailey's Beach. Number two, Jake's Band-Aid has turned in power run performances in five straight, hitting the board in three, including a pair of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Ken Carmouche has been in her, his irons on eight previous occasions, hitting the board in each, winning five times on route to a positive. 128% return on investment in the process. Back today for ride number nine. Number three, Houston Bull, a four to one shot, drops in class as the overall speed leader in this optional claiming field, racing at her about eight and a half furlongs on the dirt. Has been a power run performer in five straight, hitting the board in four, winning in both his third and fifth races back. Race 8 summary number 2, Jake's Band-Aid tops the contenders list today here at Pimlico, which also includes number 3, Houston Bull, number 1, Granite Ruler, and number 7, Bailey's Beach, 2317 in the 8th today from Pimlico. Gulfstream Park, race 7, 4.05 p.m. Eastern Post Time, mile test on the turf, Phillies and Mares, 4 years old, an up race for an optional claiming prize of 70000 $220. Contenders number two, Gitchy Gumi. Number four, Salary Drive. Number nine, Canadian Mistress. And number seven, Pinch Pie. Number two, Gitchy Gumi qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. It's the overall speed and pace profile leader in this optional claiming field, racing at today's distance of a mile on the turf. Has hit the board in four of her last five with three of those board efforts, including a win in her third race back, also qualifying as power runs. Number four, Salary Drive, a four to one shot, has hit the board in three of her last five adventures with two of those efforts, including a win in her fifth race back, also qualifying as power runs. Race seven, summary number two, Gitchy Gumi tops the contenders list here at Gulfstream, which also includes number four, Salary Drive, number nine, Canadian Mistress, and number seven, Pinch Pie, two, four, nine, seven, in the seventh from Gulfstream Park. Bonus long shots, Turf Paradise, race four of the four to one shot. Number two, Hot Citizen, drops in class by three units as the overall speed leader in this claiming field racing at or about today's distance of seven and one half furlongs on the turf. Mountaineer Park, race five, entry number two, Boiling Point, a nine to two shot. is substantially better speed, that's 18 units. Then the favorite, number six, Stormy Dude, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt. But also kindly note that I'm using the term speed with some pointed sarcasm. So handicapping from Aqueduct, Pimlico, and Gulfstream Park on a Friday repeat of before the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.